not gonna be no cooking without my apron. Hey, hey, welcome back to my vlogs and videos channel, Grace Notes. I'm Grace, these are my notes. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you like my videos, wanna support my channel, give a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, chat at me, leave a comment, all the things. So here we are, in my kitchen. And you know what that means. It's Yummy Wednesday! Yeah! My favorite time of the year is just around the corner. Fall! Oh, I love the fall. Fall in Saskatchewan is different. Yeah, it, it's nice. There's no more pesky mosquitoes. No more stinging, biting yellow jacket wasps. No more annoying Okay, so not as many <laughs> annoying fruit flies and, and now one less. But the fall colors are starting to show. Sadly, they're not as vibrant as Ontario. No, they're not. In Ontario, fall is a time bursting with color. I love it. Ontario in the fall is breathtaking every single year and I never took that for granted in all the years that I was living there. Fall in Saskatchewan is a time when color sort of goes monochromatic. Saskatchewan's a farm province, so a great lot of it is field. The change in season is perceivable. I'm looking for some savory comfort, something to, you know, offset that nip in the air. So today's recipe is something that I can make a lot of and store in the freezer, and then I'll have it on those full-on winter freezing cold days when I'm looking for something really savory and really comforting. And what could be more savory comforting than cabbage rolls? So the next holiday on the roster is... Thanksgiving. My mom always made cabbage rolls, piles and piles of them for any holiday season. Winter and Christmas, cabbage rolls. Spring and Easter, cabbage rolls. Fall, Thanksgiving, cabbage rolls. They were a staple. And she kind of had to make them because otherwise some members of my family might literally cry. <laughs> Honestly, I was never really a fan of cabbage rolls as a kid, but I've grown to like them as an adult. Cabbage rolls are very traditional in many places and cultures. Every culture does them a little bit different too. But what is typical of cabbage rolls across the board, no matter where you come from, they tend to be a little bit bland. That's probably why I didn't like them as a kid because they rely on the sauce for the savory factor. So I've never made cabbage rolls in my life, but this is, Yummy Wednesday! This vlog is often an adventure in things I've never made. As much as I respect my mother's staple recipe and the simplicity of it, that is not the cabbage roll that I'm gonna be attempting to make today. Okay, so typically green cabbage is used to make cabbage rolls. Green cabbage doesn't take as long to cook. It's softer, more pliable probably easier to roll, but I just like the idea of purple cabbage. Of course I do. It's not as pliable, it's gotta cook longer, but it's purple. And hey, why not challenge yourself when you're cooking something you've never made before? The idea of epically failing on camera? <laughs> not a deterrent to me. So let's see how this goes. Look at the size of this garlic cloves, huge. These are two fresh, whoa, blanched tomatoes that are very juicy. Right, so I need to get some sauce going here by melting down some butter. Now we're gonna add some onion. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Ooh, the aromas. This is the stuff, the tomato sauce. 
I hope my saucepan holds up to the expectation here because it's kind of small. And now I want to add some crushed tomato. Getting more full all the time. I'm starting to get a little scared. Just because I can, I want to add some fresh tomato. It just brings another level of flavor to the party. It's also bringing another level of fullness to the pan. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Now, that's pretty much where my mom's recipe ends, I think. Like, she didn't add a whole lot more to the sauce. It was just salt, pepper, onions, uh, garlic, and uh, tomato. That was basically all of that recipe. I'm going to throw a little bit of dill into here. Tasties. You know what it needs? Fresh herbs. So I'm gonna throw some thyme, basil. I don't have any fresh ginger today, but I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger and a little paprika. I appreciate the simplicity, the time-honored tradition of my mother's cooking, but going rogue. So I had another taste. I'm really liking my flavors that are developing here. The herbs and the seasonings that I've been putting in are making it happy, but I think I want to make it a little happier with just a little bit of beer. And I know my pan is telling me don't put any more liquid in here. I opened this beer like a while ago so that it wouldn't uh, be so carbonated. I just think it'll give it a, another level of flavor. Alright, gonna have another taste here. Now that I've added a few more things. Oh yeah, now we're making a sauce. Flavor. Here we go. Oh. I got this big pot of water and I'm going to bring it to a boil. Okay, so purple cabbage will turn a sickly blue if you don't do this. Add some acidity. Uh oh, <laughs> my pot is not big enough. Okay, so this is not a crisis. I can deal with this. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna boil the cabbage in this pot on one side for 10 minutes-ish, and then I'm gonna turn it around and boil it on the other side for the other 10 minutes, and that way the whole thing will get cooked. All right, carefully. I'm not trying to splash myself with boiling hot water. Back to boil. I managed to get the cabbage out of the pot without burning myself. And now I'm gonna make the filling. This is a mix of ground beef, lean ground beef, and lean pork. I'm just gonna add all this stuff into it. I got some green onion and red pepper, some carrot. All that's going in. That's not something you would find in my mom's recipe. Parsley in here. <laughs> Awkward way of doing it. This is a sablaki spice. Garlic and lemon pepper, and you really don't need a lot of it because it's quite potent. Put a little sprinkle of sage. I would prefer fresh sage, but I don't have it. And some ginger. These are croutons, and I just crushed them up. They're like garlic and butter. You notice I didn't put any salt in here. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. I like soy sauce for salt factor. It adds another level of flavor. This is red wine vinegar. I'm going to egg to bind all this together. And mixing all this together. Now, I have this little package of cream cheese. I'm just going to add it in there because I think that would be tasty. This is pre-cooked rice and it's actually coconut rice. Hey, okay? This has a nice consistency. I think I'm happy with this. Well, the first thing I'm noticing is how beautiful the color is. You caught purple handed. So I got my pan here, a layer of sauce on the bottom, and I'm going to start rolling. You want some? Alfie likes cabbage. So this rib of cabbage is a little bit much. Most people don't want to eat that, so we're just going to take it out. Alfie, do you want this? Come here. Doing terrible, I don't think.
Well, there they are in the pan. Who wants sauce? There we go. Now that's a nice looking plate. Okay, so that is my first ever cabbage roll. I'm not mad. I think it looks pretty good. Presentation wise, I think I'm doing all right here. Check it out. That looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Not bad for a first timer, my goodness. But now we taste. The taste is going to be the test. I can get all the stuff to make it that good. Mmm. Right. Okay, so if cabbage rolls tasted that way when I was a kid, I would have liked them. Mmm, the purple cabbage. I don't think it tastes very much different, but it does have a little bit of a different texture. I'm liking my sauce a lot. And I'm liking my flavors in the meat, the fresh herbs and the addition of the carrots. And the peppers and the things. Mm. That's really good, but you know what? Just because I think it tastes good doesn't mean it passes the acid test. Because the acid test is my mother. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is bring her one of these to taste. And then we'll see how well I did. <laughs> So here I am at my mom's. This is the acid test. If my mom tells me it's good or not, we shall see what she thinks. It looks good. Even though it's purple, and she told me yesterday that purple cabbage is not something you normally use. No. no. First time I have ever heard of it. I'm not mad at it myself. I hope it's hot. Oh, I did. Waiting with bated breath here. <laughs> Do I meet the approval of my mother? Let's we'll see. She's made a lot of cabbage rolls in her life. Very good. Is it good? Is it a lot different than. No, it isn't. It's amazing. I thought I thought it would make a big difference, but it doesn't really. I guess cabbage is cabbage. Cabbage is cabbage. The recipe I had, it was very simple. Just onion, meat, rice, salt, pepper. I like the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce. I, li I like like tomato real, sauce. real tomato in there. And then there's the canned tomato. You used to have these big hinds. Yeah. The cans were huge because you made a lot of of cabbage rolls in your lifetime. Especially for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Shigara was an expert at it. She was oh, a Ukrainian, Ukrainian yeah. And um, I learned it from her. She taught us all to make cabbage rolls. Mm. Well, Grace, if they didn't taste as good as this, <laughs> she I would not be eating, eating all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I meet my mother's approval. <laughs> my first time, this is huge, I made the mark. Yeah. Well, thank you for supporting my channel, watching my vlogs. This little channel is reinventing tradition because of you guys. So mad love. Well, I'm gonna continue to finish this quite tasty cabbage roll that meets my mother's approval. And you have a yummy Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs>